Hello and welcome to tutorial number 44 in the Microsoft Visual Basic .NET programming tutorials and in this tutorial we're going to be going over the open file dialog. Now there's not much coding at all involved in this this is just a really useful well, part of Microsoft Visual Basic and if you've never heard of it then you know it's really useful it allows you to well it allows the user to select files like save files, open files, and it's just really, really useful. So let's go ahead and create a new project and call it Open File Dialog Tutorial. And there's not much coding here, so I'm just going to try and explain everything as much as I can. Let's try and make the tutorial last a few minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and rename the text on my form to open file dialog now the last two tutorials have been of all have covered how to save and open text from of a, a txt file and we, i'm going to show you how to use open file dialog here just to just to display a file name that you select but if you want to be creative and combine the tutorials you can create your own application that will open text using open file dialog um, wh whatever, so um, let's get started. Add a text box. This is going to be. This will display our file name. And add a button. And change the text to browse. And down here, select open file dialog and ready to start coding well instead of coding this bit we're going to just select it from the properties here so you can't code this well you can define all of this in the coding section but we're just going to do it in the properties section here so click on open file dialog one and the first thing we're going to change is the file name so if we hit this and open file dialog opens then this file name is going to be open file dialog one. That, that doesn't look very professional, so we're going to change this to select your file. Okay, and underneath this filter, if you see down here, it, it explains the file filters to display in the dialog. For example, C files, .ts, all files, and just dot start. So we're going to be looking for txt files here. So First of all, we're going to write text file and in brackets dot txt, and then after that, we're going to add this little weird L-looking character. I actually don't even know what that's called. It's underneath the A button, and then after that, we're going to add the file extension, which is star dot txt, and then another weird L-type character, and then after that, we're going to type all files. And then the L thingy again, and then star dot star. So in the first part, we have the type of file, the text it's going to say, and the second part, we have the file extension. And we do that the same way for all files. Now, this might seem a bit confusing right now, but I promise that once we open this and I show you, it'll be um, much easier to understand. And the final thing we're going to change is the initial directory. And when you open this open file dialog, this is going to be the first folder it shows. And I've just created a folder in my C my C drive called folder test, and I've created two files in it so I can show you this filter thing in action. So what I'm going to do is here I'm going to type C, whoops, folder test. Oops, there we go. And you can type whatever you want here. You can leave blank if you want and it'll open the executable path of the application. But I'm going to use C for the test. <sighs> okay, so now we've sorted out all the properties. We can double click browse. And all we have to type here is open file dialog one dot show dialog. And this is just going to open the window with the open file dialog and then if you go down here and click on open file dialog one click
click on the events here and where it says file OK, double click this and when the user hits the OK button we want it to, uh, want it to say well, textbox one dot text equals open file dialog one dot file name now this is going to be the file name that we select in our open file dialog so if we select a text file called whatever.txt it's going to put it into this text box and so on so that was just really easy to sort out all this coding and let's just debug it see how this looks okay so if you hit the browse it's going to show the dialog and as we see the initial directory was a folder test and it did start there and the file name we changed it to was select your file and it's done that and where it says files of type this is the, the filter that we selected we selected text file and all file now if you select this text file it's going to show all files with the extension .txt and right here we have some file.txt now I've created a batch file in this folder and if we go down and select all files it will show the batch file so I'm just going to click on some file and hit open and you'll see that it says here in the text box see full test some file.txt that's because we clicked on the events and on file ok and we told it to put the file name to text box 1 so that's all working correctly and that's all really for the open file dialog you can go ahead and look at the other properties here go back to properties and there's all sorts of things you can change you can play around with this and just try and implement this new application in a further tutorial down the line I'm going to show you how to create your own notepad and you can pretty much do it yourself right now if you think about it but I'll just be going over how to create your own notepad I think it's number 46 I'm not sure I've got some more tutorials to do first but yeah so thanks for watching this tutorial and if you have any questions about open file dialog then just leave a comment on the video if you have any suggestions or requests leave a comment in the video and please like this video and subscribe up here this is all confused now because the new youtube layout is so gay but yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll see you later